Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Today, I wanna to talk about some timeless, timeless advice from a book called The Psychology of Computer Programming. Link is gonna be in the description. This book was published in 1971 and it's still completely relevant. The one thing I wanna emphasize is that please remember to focus on your non-technical skills to complement your technical skills. As engineers, as software developers, we're all expected. Baseline skill is for us to have technical chops. So that's your foundation, but it's not what's gonna take you to the next level of your career and in life and everything. I'm sure you realize this, but technical skills alone only get you to a certain level and to grow past that, to get to that next level in anything, it's always about the non-technical skills, psychology, communication, and dealing with people. Before we get started, I'm just gonna get slightly more philosophical. I've noticed that a lot of people today in our, in our modern world really expect advice catered specifically for you. And maybe you can get that, maybe you have like a consultant or a friend or a mentor who can give you that very specific advice, but practically that's not gonna happen. The only thing that can happen is that people can give you lessons, people can share their experiences with you and you have to take that and just use it and apply it to your own situation. You can't expect a direct answer to solve any of your problems. That's why a lot of these classic, they just teach you paradigms, they teach you lessons. The thing we're gonna talk about today is gonna be the 10 commandments of computer programming and it's from a psychology perspective. So I'm not gonna go over all 10, I'm gonna go over five. And these five are gonna be pretty general. You shouldn't expect them to help you right away. All I'm gonna talk about are these five lessons and you have to take them and do something good with them. All right, so let's get started. First commandment, super straightforward. Understand and accept that you will make mistakes. Mistakes are good, you learn from them. If you start your first software job, you're gonna have your first bug, you're gonna cause your first incident, you're gonna make a bunch of mistakes and you're gonna learn along the way. The best thing you can do is just accept it, don't try to be perfect. If you make a mistake, take responsibility for it quickly and just move on, all right? That's the first commandment, super easy, super helpful. The second, second commandment of computer programming that's also super important is that no matter how much karate you think you know, there's always someone that knows more than you. This applies to everybody at all levels, no matter if you have no experience or you have 15, 20, 20 plus years of experience, there's always someone that knows more than you in a certain subject. My advice here is that do whatever you can. One of the most effective ways to learn is put yourself in a situation where you can learn from others. But also you have to be really careful because putting yourself in a situation only helps if you have the right mindset. You have to be humble, you have to exhibit humility, and you have to just accept that people know more than you. And when you actually accept that, you know people know more than you, then you can actually learn a lot from them. If you ever think you're the smartest person in the room, there's probably a problem. The third commandment, third commandment of computer programming that's super important is that you have to always treat people that know less than you with respect. All right, this goes hand in hand with point number two, but whenever you talk with anybody, you are never better than anybody. If someone knows less than you, they're just less experienced than you, but they deserve your respect and they deserve to learn from you. Moving on quickly, the fourth, the fourth commandment of computer programming is gonna be true authority comes from knowledge, not position. When we talk about software development or any kind of engineering in general, the true respect, respect is given for people that are technically strong. You can't deny that, right? You always respect people that are technically really good. As I mentioned earlier, you have to focus on the non-technical skills, the people skills, the communication skills, but those are all complementary, and they complement the main bread and butter, and the main bread and butter is always gonna be tech. I can tell you a little bit from my own personal experience, but currently I'm an engineering manager, so my day-to-day -day is a lot of people, people management, kind of dealing with operational stuff, logistical stuff, but I'll tell you very truthfully is that if I still wasn't technically strong, my teammates and my coworkers wouldn't respect me. 
So in order to be a good manager and to have that authority I need to do my job well, I still have to remain as technical as possible. So my day-to-day -day stuff, even though I do a not I do a lot of non-technical things, I still try to remain as technical as possible because it really does give me that authority. All right, everybody, we're at the last commandment I wanna talk about. This is the fifth commandment of computer programming, and that's gonna be fight for what you believe, but gracefully accept defeat. This is super important because as software developers, you're probably aware that sometimes we like to argue. People can get pretty heated about their opinions. People fight over their favorite languages, the best way of doing things. And of course, opinions are opinions and there's gonna be battles, but there will be times when you win some battles, but you have to also accept that there will be times when you lose battles. Furthermore, the next important thing is that even if you're right, even if you're right and you lose the battle and something doesn't go your way and you end up being right, after it's all said and done, you still can't rub it in somebody's face, all right? Just accept defeat when you're defeated and just take your wins gracefully. Time to wrap this up. Those are my top five, my personal top five commandments of computer programming. If you wanna learn about the other five, please go check out the book, The Psychology of Computer Programming. The link is in the description and it was published 1971 and the advice is still relevant as ever okay it's timeless a lot of people are trying to find the latest and greatest advice what do i do in 2020 what language do i learn this year but all this advice everything you need has been written in books for decades all right every single book i read they focus on similar things programming is a people thing don't forget about the non-technical skills, always non-technical skills, complement your technical foundation and keep your tech really strong, but don't forget all those people, communication and non-technical things. So without further ado, let's wrap up the video. I hope you liked it. Please give me a comment. Please hit the like button. Please share the video if you enjoyed it and I'll catch everyone next time.